Hello and welcome to another Try 2 walkthrough. My name is Mount Lover, and today I'm going to be showing you all the secrets and collectibles that there are to be found in Mission 3 called Foundry of Doom. This mission is a lot more open-ended and less linear than the last two, so instead of just pointing out the locations of all of the secrets and collectibles, I'm going to give you an optimal route to collect them all as quickly as possible. The very first thing you're going to want to do upon starting this level is to turn left and enter the door on your left to find both a weapon upgrade and a codex entry right next to it. Right away in the next room, we're going to encounter a chance to complete our first challenge. This is to detonate three possessed using one barrel. This next area is probably going to be the best place in the entire map to complete this objective, so go ahead and run through the door, and then you'll encounter a crossway with three enemies converging. Run all the way down to the end of the hall, turn around, and then detonate the barrel to detonate at least three enemies. From here, we're going to continue down the corridor and turn right to enter a room with lots of lava and platforms. We can't make this first jump, so just jump as far as you can and look to your right to find a room with an elite guard and a praetor token. After retrieving the Praetor token, go back the way you came, turn left, and jump over the railing onto the nearby ledge. From here, you can platform your way all the way to the top. After you reach the top, look to your right to find a vent that takes you to a secret piece of armor that we couldn't reach before. On your way out, be sure to collect the arm across the way, and then go back the way you came and use the arm on the scanner that you passed earlier. After using the arm on the scanner, a green door nearby will open. If you enter through the door, you'll encounter your first gore nest. After destroying the gore nest, go ahead and turn around and leave back the way you came. After exiting this corner of the map, we're going to want to head all the way down passing by the blue doors on our left and the catwalk on our right. It's here that we'll encounter our first opportunity to complete our second challenge. This challenge is to get three glory kills from above on possessed soldier type enemies. These are the ones carrying guns or shields. You'll find two enemies right away that are easy to get glory kills on from above. All you have to do is shoot them in the chest so that they don't die instantly, and then once they enter their glory kill animation, Jump at point-blank range, aim down, and hit the melee button at the peak of your jump. This will always result in a kill from above, regardless of height difference. After collecting the yellow card key from the corpse nearby, more enemies will spawn back the way we came giving us a chance to complete our third kill from above and completing our objective. The next thing that we're going to want to do is spot the elevated catwalk over lava at the edge of this room. What we're going to want to do is jump off the edge underneath the catwalk to find Vault Guy. After collecting Vault Guy, make your way back up to the catwalk, turn to your left, and spot the handrail pressed up against a pillar. 
You can jump on this handrail and then from here make it to the pipe overhead. From this pipe you can actually platform your way all the way up to get the blue keycard. After you've collected the blue key card, turn around and enter the blue door that you passed on your way up. In this room down the stairs, you'll find yet another gore nest. Your devotion to the UAC's mission on Mars is the foundation to you, you will establish a new paradigm and move into the After destroying the gore nest, take a left and enter the door on your left to take you to an area with what looks like an elevator shaft with a bounce pad at the bottom. Go ahead and jump down this elevator shaft to the bottom floor to enter another area with yet another gore nest. After destroying the gore nest, you'll notice that a doorway opened up on the left. Enter through this doorway and take your first left until you reach a clearing. Once you reach the clearing, turn around and jump up on the platform behind you. This will take you to the next secret area where you can find the rocket launcher. Rocket Launcher! After retrieving the rocket launcher, return back to the clearing and then turn left and jump up the nearby wall. From here, follow the corridor down and jump through the window, and then look to your right to find the next codex entry. After retrieving the codex entry, turn around and jump up the nearby boxes to find a door that will allow you to leave this corridor area. After going through the door, turn left, go up the stairs, and then make another left. Here you'll encounter the same catwalk that we passed up earlier. Take a left and walk down the catwalk, and keep an eye out for the lever that you'll encounter on your left. This will unlock the secret classic Doom map on this map. Remember that in order to actually get the credit for the secret, you have to enter the secret area. After you're done exploring the secret area, take a right and follow this all the way down until you find an Argent cell just sitting there. After retrieving the Argent cell, turn around and take this path all the way down until you find some stairs on your left. This will take you up to a yellow keycard door that you can now enter. In this yellow keycard room, you'll find a codex entry sitting on the counter straight up ahead. Remember, the Blind Council is always watching. After retrieving the codex entry, Proceed to the next area, where you'll be forced to fight some demons. In here, you'll find the next Doom guy, hidden in a crate with the lid off. After retrieving the Doom guy, continue all the way down this hall, and you'll find an extra chainsaw sitting next to some boxes. 
Instead of proceeding through the door on your left, go ahead and platform up these boxes to find a secret area that'll take you to another elite guard with another Praetor token. After you've got the Praetor token, go back down and enter through the double doors right next to you to find the final Gore Nest. After destroying the Gore Nest, the giant airlock doors in the middle of the map will finally have opened. You can get to it by proceeding straight through this room, and be sure to collect the auto map on the way. After you head through the airlock, you'll enter an area where you have to press a button and fight a gauntlet of enemies. After clearing out all the demons, a door will open on the opposite side of this area. The primary control room has been activated somewhere nearby. It could be Olivia. Once you enter the next area, you'll find our final elite guard with the final Praetor token. And with that, you've officially 100% completed Mission 3. What's also worth noting is that this is the first mission in which you will be issued what's called a combat challenge. This combat challenge basically awards you weapon upgrade points in exchange for defeating enemies. You don't have to worry about getting glory kills or headshots or anything like that. All you have to do is make sure that you eliminate all the enemies on the map and you'll get the combat challenge 100% of the time. Stay tuned for part 4 of our 100% Doom 2016 completion guide. I've been Mount Lover, thanks for watching.